Hey, I'm the hookers, this is Z-Man. Uh, so today, I'm starting with a little light show, I guess. <laughs> this is a little nifty thing that I um, did just yesterday. Uh, if you guys want me to show you guys how it works, I can do that in another video. But this is not what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, today, I'm doing another request video. Um, this one is from the Fuzzy Bomb. He uh, commented on my last video, which was the um, which was the door with the uh, that had the ordered levers. You had to press the levers in a specific order to um, to get the door to open. So anyway, he commented on that, and he asked uh, he asked me if I could do a reset switch inside of it, so that you guys don't have to um, flip all the levers on the outside to reset it. Because yeah, I kind of get that. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, but so anyway, I totally redesigned the entire thing. I made it pretty damn awesome and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I added a bunch of things. And it's right over here. So this is all the redstone. It's pretty much the same thing, it, but it's got a few... It's, it's, got a, it's got a lot of extra stuff. Um, so anyway, first off, I, got, I, I just added the double doors. Um, but so anyway, it's got a reset switch, or a button. Uh, I should take that off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's got two doors, a reset button, and then all these are buttons. And it also has lights on the top, which I added, so that you can tell whether or not it's on or off. Um, so, let's see. So it's uh, 3, 2, 4, 1. So just to prove that it works. 3. Oh, Jesus. 3. 2. Four, one, and you don't actually have to wait for the lights, but it's just nice. Uh, so anyway, that opens the doors. Um, you run in here. Oh my God, so much lag! <laughs> you run in here, and you step over these pressure plates. The doors close. Uh, another nifty thing that I added was you step on the pressure plates, and the doors also open. Doesn't do anything to the machine, but it opens the door. Um, also, so, one, two, you can just hit that, and reset both of them. Um, I also added a punishment system for this. It's really, I, I, I thought this was just kind of funny. Um, I asked my friend how I should do the punishment system, and he was like, give them math homework. So, hold on, give me a second. So I entered the wrong code. Door's not opening. Bloop. A book. Here, here, here's your math homework, guys. Here's your math homework. For you. For you. Um, okay. So anyway. <laughs> reset it. Let's take a look at the redstone for this. It's a lot of redstone. Um, the only difference is like this big middle, this big beginning spot, really. Um, the entire end of it is exactly the same. So, the, yeah, the entire end of it's exactly the same. But you need a lot of extra stuff because you're doing buttons and you have resets and all of that stuff. So, it, it takes a lot. And then I also added like the, um, the redstone for the torches, for the lights on top, and then as well the, uh, little punishment system. I need to get rid of this book. Um, so the, there's a lot of extra redstone in this. It's not all required. Like uh, some of this hanging stuff isn't, uh, most of this hanging stuff isn't required. Um, anyway, because we have buttons, uh, we need T flip-flops, which is what this is. Um, I've shown you guys what T flip-flops are before. It's uh, hit a button and it switches. I'm not using this design because this design is a lot uh, more space efficient, or at least for what I need it for. So I did it like this. So it's just it's just like that, instead of like that. Um, so anyway, you got the T flip flops, and those all connect uh, directly into the into these. Um, this uh, oh, <laughs> that is a. Uh, is that the reset? Is that the sensor? Yeah, that's the sensor. Oh, that that this one's just kind of off. Where? Oh no, no, that that's the right height. Never mind. Uh, all this hanging redstone kind of gets confusing after a while. Uh, but so anyway, it connects to this 
this piston right here, which all, and it also powers it powers both of these torches, and one powers this piston. Why am I getting so much lag? Um, but so one powers this torch, and then this torch as well. And this torch goes off and goes into um, into the actual combination system, where this torch right here. Why is there so much lag? Um, yeah, I really don't know. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm having some sort of problems with my fraps. I don't know exactly, but well, I'll try and make this quick so that I don't have too much more problems. Uh, so anyway, this, um, so it powers from the T flip-flop, and it goes into uh, both of these torches. This one goes off into the combination, like I said. Uh, this one goes off into this piston right here. This piston pushes up, and this right here is a sensor. Uh, so this sensor um, will uh, detect whether or not the... Um, the uh, the button has been pressed or not, or if it's been repressed and turned off. So it's whether or not it's on or off. So if it's on, uh, there will be a block here, and then right here is connected to the reset switch or the uh, pressure plates that reset it as well. Um, so what it'll do is when this piston is pushed up, uh, this repeater will be able to send a signal through this uh, this stone block and into this uh, this redstone right here and repower the um, the T flip flop resetting it. So it will um, reset the T flip flop, unpower this line, which will repower or no, it'll repower this line because it'll be off. So like if it's off, this is up. So that'll repower it. So it'll switch. And I should have grabbed redstone before I broke anything. Um, and it'll turn it back off. And yeah, there we go. Um, so that's how that works. So that, that's how I did the reset switch. And then everything else is not really like necessary. I, I kind of added everything else afterwards. So it wasn't the, it's not the greatest spot for it. Um, but so how I, so what I did was I just took power from each line and I um, just took it and put it right here where the uh, where the redstone torches will be so I just took it from each line wherever I could just because like it was a afterthought actually um, and did did that and then I also went off those lines and uh, made the punishment system so it's just a bunch of and gates that's all it really is so um, every single every single uh, button is connected to this one of these AND gates, and then um, so that's button one, two, three, and four. And so when all of them are turned off, that one and that one will turn on, and um, which will power which will depower this and depower that, which will turn that one on, depowering that. And since that one is automatically depowered. Uh, because that that torch right there is connected to whether or not it's the right code. So if uh, if it's on, it was the right code. So I have a bunch of delay on this because I uh, it takes a while to get through um, through the combination system. So I have a delay, a big quite a big delay. Um, and so if the if this is on, it won't activate the punishment system, and you'll be able to go through. If it's off and that turns off, it'll activate the punishment system because you have the wrong code and you pressed all the levers and there you go. Um, there's not a whole lot left to cover actually, because I mean, like you guys, uh, I'll put a link. I'll definitely have a link to my last video for the combination system. This one's a little bit different. Uh, it's probably a little bit neater, but I don't know. Uh, I will quickly show you guys how I did the uh, underground stuff. This is like right here is the pressure plate. Um, these pressure plates, and this connects directly to the reset switch. Um, and then I have, I just have two torches. I couldn't. Um, these double doors were really funky. <laughs> they, just, they, they really were. So I just had to do it like this. One is off and one is on, and. Um, they're just both being powered by either one of these. So if the pressure plate uh, gets turned on, then they open. Or if the right combination is um, turned on, then they open. And then since the pressure plate is also connected to the uh, co the reset switch, it'll also reset it so that the com the combination gets reset as well. 
So that's how that works. Um, and then just got a little dispenser for the books. <laughs> Just kind of nifty, but you you can you can hook up like whatever type of um, punishment system you want. It's not it's not too hard. Um, so anyway, guys, gonna reset the time really quick. Sucks when it's dark. Um, that is about it. Uh, if you guys have any more requests, I would love to show you guys how to do something, whatever. Or if you guys want me to add some some more to this, I don't know what the heck I could add to it besides what I've done already. But if you guys have any more ideas, just let me know. I'm totally up for um, any cool ideas to make or do or blah, 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 whatever. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm pretty much done. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that junk. I got lots of videos to watch for you guys to watch if you haven't subscribed or watched any of my videos before. Um, so anyway, guys. I will catch you motherhuggers later. Bye-bye.